The first premier event for the Advent League just finished recently, and I ended up getting third, which, looking back on it, is pretty good. Um, when I was playing, I was like, I want to win the whole thing, and that didn't happen, but third is alright for me. It's probably, like, my actual level, so... <laughs> but... So... I had to play against Ana Meru, and... There's someone who I think has been underrated for a while, but their rating has started to go up. Or a lot of events I'd see their seed and feel like they're really under seeded. But um, I think they're getting higher now because they, they do pretty well in a lot of these events. So they can sometimes beat me, and then Void can beat me. Probably the big match for me was in winners' semifinals because. I thought Void was going to beat me, probably, and if I lost, then I'd have to face some people in, like, loser's quarterfinal and semifinals, and, like, Rune beats me a lot, and KZN sometimes can beat me, so if I lost there, I might have gotten, like, fifth or fourth, but w once I won that match, I was guaranteed to get at least third, and then I was like, yeah, maybe I can win the whole thing. I feel like Void didn't play that well in the winner's semifinals match. Like, he missed an all-clear. That was pretty obvious, I think, unless he placed it in a way where he couldn't get it. And then there's some other things where it just felt like he wasn't playing that well. I didn't feel like I was playing great, but I didn't feel like I was playing terrible. And then when I saw Yoshi play against KZN, it felt like Yoshi wasn't playing their best either, so I thought maybe I could beat Yoshi, but then uh, it felt like Yoshi turned it on against me and played really well, and then in Losers Finals, Void, it felt like he played really well there too, and I didn't, I didn't play like super well, so he kind of won it pretty easily. And then in Grand Finals, that was a really interesting match, because it felt like Yoshi and Void both played really well. I feel like for a long time Yoshi's been seen as the better player, but recently Void's been coming out on top just barely in some of these recent events, so Void might be turning that around. So that'll be interesting to see if Void can actually um, stay ahead of Yoshi, or if he's ahead at all. Sometimes it just depends on the day. And going into the standings, so... If you win a premier event, you automatically qualify for the main event at the end, so Void gets the automatic qualifier, and now I'm second in points, so it's like the top three in points who didn't automatically qualify are going to qualify for the main event. So if all the automatic qualifiers come from the top seven players, which is like a reasonable assumption, unless... Like, it could be possible that some people who don't, don't join a lot of the events just join the really big ones and end up winning, so that could happen. But if that doesn't happen, then you only have to get to 7th to qualify, so I think that makes some makes things really interesting, because if you go down to 7th right now, it's... Um, it's Kirby combo, and they only have 11 points, and then Icy Soapy is there with 10, Anameru is there with 8, Kupri has 7, OSW has 6, so it feels like anyone could be in contention for 7th, just because, like, anyone could have a, a couple of good events and just happen to do really well in a couple of events and get a lot of points, and then they might take the seventh spot so i've seen icy soapy playing a lot or streaming a lot and it seems like they're getting a lot better and kirby combo has been doing pretty well in these i guess uh, like i said i think ana meru has been underrated for a while and they have a chance to beat some of the top players on a good day and osw might have some potential helio i think has recently improved a lot, but I don't know if they've kept up now. And I don't know if they're going to be able to enter a lot of events. Shiro is always good. 
I think Shiro could make it if he plays enough events. And I saw John play in the Latin America event, and he looked pretty good too. So really, there's a lot of people who I think have the potential to make it to the seventh spot. And it's hard to say like who will actually do it, because it kind of just comes down to if any of them have one or two good events where they like beat a couple of the top rated players and then get a bunch of points from that event. So it looks like I'll probably be pretty safe to make it in somehow either on on an automatic qualifier or on points just because right now I'm the highest who hasn't automatically qualified. I think Yoshi is currently better than me but they just haven't played as many events so they aren't as high up. Rinto, Puyo, or Rune They've gotten a lot better recently, and they're really a contender now, so it's interesting to see how they're going to do overall. KZN has had some recent good showings, so it looks like they're starting to separate themselves from the pack, too. And Hiku's always really strong. Um, it'll, it'll, I guess it'll depend on if he plays in more events and... There's a lot of strong French players out there, but I don't know if they're going to get into this. So, we'll have to see. But, overall, this the standings as it is now. And, I'm mostly interested in seeing, like, how the fight for, like, 7th plays out. But, 